Dove hamster female one year old. Right? Yeah, okay, 29th of March, dove hamster one year old. Female. Yeah. Female. Okay, what happened? Uh, um, she got so a lump on the cheek and then the other time we went for the surgery now. On the left cheek, right? Mm. Yeah, it starts and again. It came back again. Yeah. Mm. And also now she starts to have like those yeah. watery diarrhea. Sheep, diarrhea. Yeah. The wet tail, huh? Yes. Let me weigh first. It's uh, 26 grams. <laughs> 26 grams. Uh, let me see what happened last time. Last time was 36 grams. Huh? So we lost 10 grams. So it's not eating anymore? She eats quite a lot. She oh, eats. But I think that's falling with her trying to eat. So she couldn't. Oh, really? Yeah. Put it here. So they come, you come and hold it first and then just look after it, don't, don't stand too far away. Okay, so the, the lump is on the right side and it's getting bigger. Yeah. yeah. As you can see from the front top, yeah, it's getting bigger. Now, this lump feels like an abscess uh, or a tumour. There are two possibilities. Uh. Tumour means uh, it's, a, it's a skin growth, a uh, mm. lump. Abscess is, uh, of course, it's abscess is passed inside. Mm -hmm. And the, if the abscess is not right, then of course it's hard, you see. After it ripens, it will be soft, and I just cut it, and uh, the pus will come out. Okay. So this this one, did it go down last time? The, uh, on uh, March 16, it was treated, right? Did it go down, that lung? It yeah. seems to be fine, yeah. Now it's the 29, right? Mm -hmm. So March 16, Treated one time, and uh, it was eating. Yes. And drinking. Yes. Urine and stool. Yeah. Oh. Then after that, the lump appears again. Yeah. yeah. And this lump, is it uh, affecting the the appetite? I think it is affecting the appetite. The eye scratching also. Yes. yes. Do you put ear drops or not? Yes. yes. They did not. Uh, so before that, you went to another vet and uh, and for the same problem or different? Mm. Or was it the same thing, the left side and so? Before yeah. that? Yeah. I think you went there, yeah. The mouth also, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. The left side also, right? Mm -hmm. The pinky. Yeah. So there's a weight loss, so it's quite serious. One centimeter times one centimeter times eight millimeter. So I have to put put this uh, pinky under anesthetic and and cut. So if it's an uh, abscess, mm -hmm. of course the pus will come out. If it's a uh, ripe ripened abscess, uh, mm -hmm. if it's not ripe, of course it's still a hard lump. Okay. So do you give the antibiotics last time? Yes. Every day. So now there's diarrhea or bad tail, is it? Yeah, it started only recently. Wait, how recent? How many days? Um, recently, about two days? Yeah, two days or so. Yeah. Uh, any stools pass out now? Yes. How many? Pellets, you know? I don't know, never come. <laughs> is it a lot? Yeah. Can't be a lot, it's losing weight now. <laughs> if, if it's not losing weight, then it'll be a lot. That time the lump was not so obvious, but now it's definitely uh, very obvious. Mm. Up to here. Yeah. So there will be an anesthetic risk of putting under anesthetic. It's risky, I mean. Okay. So if, if it passes away, then uh, that's because the MSH is too, too big, too big and too, old, uh, too sick to put the anesthetic. But if the anesthetic uh, is not given, we can't lance the abscess or the lump, is it? So you have to be uh, prepared for this. Okay. Oh. And uh, let me see. Okay, so, so you have to put here for maybe two days or three days huh? after surgery to, to check. Yeah, at that time, I think the lump wasn't there. Huh? It was only a small ulcer, isn't it? I don't think it was a lump there, was there a lump? Mm. I don't think so because I, I draw it here there. I draw it here. There was a there was a abscess, a white colour one. That's why it recovered. 
you know. But uh, you did recover for how many days? How do you know you recover? Because it seems to be so much lighter and it's able to eat. So. so at the beginning, when you went to see the other vet, was it the same same thing also on the left side? Yes. What, what was there at the time? Was there any lump or any...? It was like a lump. Mm. It was a lump as yeah. well? Yeah, it was like a lump. Oh, okay. I'm surprised it's so active. Huh? Okay, so, but the lump was very big, like this? No. Huh? No. No, right? No. Lucky it doesn't bite people. It's a big tail. How, it, how does it eat now with this lump? He still can eat? Uh? No, it cannot eat already. Hmm? Yeah, the lower teeth is longer. Although you can eat, you can still hide all the seeds. Uh? <laughs> so can you drink or not, actually? Yeah, still drink. What is this? Uh? This one is what? Uh? Food, the palate. Yeah. It's probably the mashed up hay. Mm. No, they put that in. What the brand is it? Uh? What brand is it? You buy all this big one. Okay. Huh? Uh, are these what hamsters or not? It, it's probably the, the hay, like like small bits of hay, like rabbit pellets. Yeah, but is it for hamsters? Yeah. They do put those in hamster food. In like okay. supermarkets. Yeah, now they put a lot of variety of things. Uh. Yeah. yeah. So, 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 uh, just put it here first, and and I will I will do it afterwards on to analysis and check whether it can cut or not. If cannot cut, then uh, wait wait for one or two days to for it to ripen. Uh. When it ripen, then you can cut. I'll check first. So you put it here. Huh? Okay, where's your cage? Put it back first. Huh? Can I stop? Okay. So. Can I stop? Yeah.